When I started out shooting underwater, everything was one shot at a time. And in fact, I've been mostly a single shot shooter for most of my underwater photography career. But I was diving recently with Ken Kiefer and I noticed his strobes like machine gun firing every time he took a picture. And it really made me wonder, was there something I was missing out on? I found out that setting your drive mode to continuous can be a really big advantage when shooting a moving subject, particularly fast moving subjects like sharks and dolphins. Continuous drive, also known as burst shooting, means that the camera keeps taking photos as long as you hold down the shutter. It increases your odds that you'll capture the perfect moment. It can give you more shots to choose from, for example, if there are lots of small fish swarming around a larger subject. And if you're going for a certain look or pose, like jaws open on a feeding shark, then burst shooting is essential. But there are a few things you need to know if you want to try continuous shooting underwater. The most important thing is to make sure your strobe can keep up. Most underwater strobes can't keep up with continuous burst shooting. Our DS230 and DS160 series strobes are some of the very few on the market that can actually shoot at a rate of 10 frames per second. Your strobes that run on AA batteries are not fast enough and you're lucky to get more than one frame every two to three seconds. Second, Make sure you have a big card in your camera. You can burn through a memory card really quickly when you're pulling multiple shots at a time. And make sure you're in a continuous focus mode so that your camera can make micro adjustments in between the shots within the burst sequence. So I don't always shoot continuous now, but it does help my big animal photography. And I'm also gonna try it next time I go out to shoot split shots where it's really difficult to get the water line just right. It's not a magic bullet though. You still have to nail your composition, exposure settings, and lighting. So try out burst shooting on your next dive and let us know how it goes.